Hi, welcome. This is a, just a short tutorial on how to learn how to combine vectors to determine what we call the resultant vector using the parallelogram rule. So consider uh, a case involving force vectors where multiple forces are acting on some mass in multiple directions. And if we just consider the case where You have seven newtons of force pushing this object to the right. And let's say you have three newtons of force opposing it to the left. Let's say you have eight newtons of force pushing the mass up. And Five newtons of force pushed it down. So if you want to analyze all these forces and figure out the result of all these forces and sum the net force, its magnitude, and its direction, consider the horizontal forces first. Uh, this mass, as a result, has four newtons of force pushing it to the right. Seven to the right, three to the left makes four to the right. Net horizontal force. 8 up, 5 down leaves a result of 3 newtons going up. And therefore, how do you combine vectors that are perpendicular to one another? The trick is just to always draw an imaginary parallelogram parallel to the two vectors drawn. The length of the diagonal of this parallelogram in the direction of the diagonal is the resultant force vector. So if you draw the parallelogram, the diagonal represents the direction of that vector. And if you want to know how long that vector is, you have to imagine it like you would the Pythagorean theorem, where you would think of this as the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Therefore, the length of that hypotenuse squared equals the length of the other two vectors squared. So you have four squared plus 3 squared. And if you solve for that, that becomes square root of 25, or 5. So this vector is a length of 5, 5 newtons in magnitude in the direction drawn. This rule will always work so long as you combine your horizontal vectors and your vertical vectors separately. And then anytime you have two vectors perpendicular to one another as you do here, you can always apply the Pythagorean theorem to relate those three vectors.